Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 10th video of our LZH Project or Linux Zero to Hero series. And in this uh, today's lecture or today's video, uh, we will discuss about file permission. I have some uh, very good uh, like things to discuss like ACLs, uh, sticky bit, UMask along with file permissions. And one more thing I would like to mention here is uh, that most of the time in my previous previous videos I use the word that it's live recording what I mean is that uh, I record in a full and without any script so that's why there are sometimes mistakes so I would really like to apologize for anything uh, which doesn't make any sense to you well sometimes it happens you know what I mean so anyway let's start today video and <clears throat> uh, well, we already have our users first. Uh, let me show you the users we will be working with. We have this user A. At the very end, you can see these users, user dash A, user dash B, and user dash C. Then, of course, the root user. So, let's start. Let me clear the screen. And right now, I am this root uh, root directory so let me create one directory first uh, any directory or file in roots home so to go into roots home I'll just press CD and press enter and you can see that I'm in the sign now chain from forward slash to the tilde so it means I'm in roots home directory which we can check with PWD okay so one thing I would like to mention here is the permissions so permissions are let's say we create a file touch um, Linux permissions dot txt so if I ls and you can see that we have this Linux permission dot txt file to see the permissions right now I'll type ls dash or hyphen l Linux permission press enter and you can see that I have a dash then rw dash r dash dash r dash dash so what is this dash first the dash denotes a file that this is a file r stands for read w stands for write and x basically x you cannot see it here but uh, in I, I can i'll show you anyway x stands for execute so these are the three permissions like basic three permissions read write and execute and if you if you uh, like take a look closely you can see that there are not only three read write execute but there's read write dash read dash dash read dash dash basically the these uh, permissions are for first user or the creator of the file or the owner of the file then there is g group the user uh, like the group the user belongs to or any group member and o stands for others like who is not the owner who doesn't belong to the group so he's considered that as uh, as others so that's why we means like this file has read write permission for the owner now we can read this file read write permission for the owner read permission for the group and read permission for others and who is the owner of the group if you just uh, take a look you can see root root this means that root is the owner of the group uh, sorry this file and root is the own uh, belongs to root group so basically this file Linux permission is created by root and he is the owner and as the owner he has permission to read and write what if the other user tries to write to this file but first let me uh, try to write something to this file by the user root uh, 
next permission. Hello, this is uh, root file. Truly safe. Get the content. And hello, this is a root file. <clears throat> okay, let me uh, switch to user A. Who am I? Confirms that I'm user A. Okay, let me try to get the content of this file. Well, we have a permission denied because I'm in Root's home directory and I don't have, as a normal user, I don't have permission to work in Root's home directory. So let me move this file to some place where we can work. I'm going back to Root. Uh, okay. Let me move this file Linux permission to OPT testing. Okay, clear the screen. Switch user to user A. Go to OPT testing. Okay. So, as a normal user, let me try to read this file. And I can read this file. But what if I would like to add something to this file? Okay. You can see that I have received this message, permission denied. Why? Because I have no rights to write to this file. So how can I get the rights? I can request root to please allow me uh, that I can uh, edit this file and I can, I should be able to append this file. So let the root user give me this permission. So. As a root, uh, who am I? User root. Okay. To change the permission, I'll just go chmod, change mod permissions. Okay. I want to change the permission to 666 six, six, or 660. Six, These things in a minute. Okay, press enter. This time, if I just uh, check this file with ls-l uh, Linux permissions, and we can see that it's now read, write, read, write, dash, 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 no permission. It means user or the owner has read, and write permission. The group uh, has read, write permission, but now even uh, like uh, this user A, it's he's not even going to read that file. Before he was able to read this file. So let's try first. Switch to user A. That's cat. Before he was able to cat, this time he has a permission denied. Okay, now I'm requesting root to give me to see this file and uh, allow me to edit the file as well. Switching to user root and chmod 666 Linux permissions. Okay, switching back to user A. Now, if I view the content, okay, good. I'm able to view the content. What about if I want to append? Okay, yes, this is my line says user a control a and cat the content this time wow so we are able to cat the content okay so what is uh, this 666 okay so here is the deal read has the number 4 or the value 4 write has the value 2 and execute as the value one so this total adds up to seven so if i want to give someone permission to read and write i will give him six why because four and two equals six what if i want to give this person permission to write only well it's two but you don't give anyone 
uh, permission to write if he cannot read. So that's why we can give him a permission to read only or to read and write. And uh, what about execute? One. So if I want to give some person this uh, permission to ex read and execute, so he will get the permission five. Why? Because four plus one is equal to five. And if I want this person or this user to give full permission, I will give him seven. Why? Because read, write, and execute makes seven. Four plus two plus one equals seven. That's why this file, if I check this file, you can see that it has read, write, read, write, read, write. In other words, it has six for the user, six for the group, and six for others or read write for user, read write for group, and read write for other. Okay, so more with this um, files and permission in our next video because this video is getting lengthy and I think I will uh, make uh, four more videos with this permissions just want to make uh, small videos because it has lots of explanations anyway please uh, sit back tight and i'll be back in a flash and don't forget to subscribe thank you